life came a full circle when after almost 70 years, Air India, you don't remember Google? I'll wait. Air India returned to the hands of its original creators, the Tatas. Or as we say in France, Tata. Yes, the government of India formally handed over the airline to the Tata Group last week. And joining us to discuss what the future holds in store for the airline is alleged, and I use this word loosely, veteran air stewardess of Air India, the unbelievable one-time beauty queen, one time for sure, but which time no one knows, Miss Fatima Suarez. <laughs> Welcome back after a long time, Miss Fatima Suarez, to our show. Hi. <laughs> what happened, Cyrus? Why are you being so formal, men? Don't say Fatima Suarez, Fatima Suarez, men. You forgot me or what? Go to the church and do three Hail Marys, men. Come on, come on. I don't get parking at the church. That's the only reason I don't go there. I'm a big <laughs> fan of religion, so that's the reason. But please go on. Then how many times I have to tell you, what is all this formality, men? Just call me by my pet's name, men, bugger. Your pet's name? I, I, what, what pet? Dog or cat? Not pet's name like Rocky Tiger, Moti, men, pet's name. Like how to say men, bugger. Uh, like, you know, Nick's name. Nick's name? Achha, achha, one second. I'm assuming Nick's name will be Nick. Yeah, men, not Nick like Nick Chopra, men. Nick Chopra? Nick Chopra, Jonas, men. What men, Cyrus? How thick you have become. You don't know anything only. Okay, okay, go on. So let's get on with it. Go on, you tell me. First, call me by my pet's name. Short for Fatima Suarez. Fatso! I know, I know. I, I took you a little while because you haven't been on. Fatso. Although, obviously, that's not because you're, you know, it's just, a, it's a pet name. Oh. Sweet, you are men, Cyrus. You remember, men. You remember. God bless you, men. <laughs> so let's talk Air India, Fatso. Back with the Tatas, Fatso. Yeah, men. When I heard about it now, I started jumping with joy, men. Fatso. I'm just saying it so I don't forget. Fatso, you were so happy that you jumped with joy. Can't hear a word, bugger. Not jump with joy, man. Jump to with Joyce. Joyce is sequera. You don't know her a what, huh? She's fat, short, with a blunt bob cut na. Nothing like me, huh? <laughs> She's also Air India only, lives in Chimbai village in Bandra only. Just a stone's throw away from me, you know. Her point being is she's thrown stones very often for no reason. So you jump with Joyce. Yeah, man, bugger, so happy now, nah. so happy, thank God now. Nah. We were all actually thinking of leaving Air India and looking for another job only. But with all this COVID, COVID and this lockdown, nah, there were no jobs available only, you know. Yes, yes, I believe airlines went through a lot. Yeah, man, Cyrus, there were no jobs only. I managed to get one interview in another airline, nah, but... Uh, but what, what? But they just refused to give me a job, man. Why would they? Why would they refuse? You know what they said? You know what they said? No, please tell us. You know what they said. No, Baba, fat so please tell us what. They said we can't hire you because of the name of the airline. Because of the name of the airline? What is the name? Virgin Man. Uh, is it Virgin Man issue or Virgin General issue? I didn't get that. So you're looking forward to the takeover and the new improvements then? Oh yes, oh yes, man. Now that Rattin is taking over now. Rattin? Rattin Tata, man. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Although, I don't think he will like you too much, man. Why wouldn't he like me? What have I done? Why would Rattin Tata not like a person like me? Why? See, you may have done nothing, but unfortunately, your name is Cyrus now. Nah. And there is no mystery about that, see? <laughs> Crowd is going crazy. People are cheering. Give us more facts, so give us more. Okay, get, getting on with Air India, what are the changes that you're expecting personally? Oh, everything will change, everything. There will be many, many firsts, you know? Like what? Like new menus, better food, punctuality, <laughs> better aircraft, better routes, all that. That's great to hear, that's interesting, but we're all expecting a lot. And what about for you personally, I think? Uh, give us some more personal insight. Any first there? Yes, man, yes. Also for the crew and staff now, there is one big, big, big first, you see? Ah, I see, I see. So now that the government is not running Air India, what is the big first that is in store for Air India crew and staff, according to you? The big first is that for the first time, first time ever, Air India crew will actually have to start working, men. 
Now, one second, again, like with the virgin men issue, is it working men or working and then men separately? Okay. You know, fat, so the whole flow is not happening for me today. I'm not able to understand what you're saying, but thank you for contributing, as usual, very little to the show. God bless you, and we hope to fly with you again. <laughs> Bye, Cyrus. See you in the air, okay? <laughs> Bye.